And hey everybody, welcome back to another theme deck review. Today we're taking a look at the other Legends Awaken theme deck, which is Bombardment. Which I always thought was kind of a funny name, but um, this is definitely a fitting name for this deck, if you know what I mean. Um, as you can see, the front has Regigigas on the front there, which is the main Pokemon in this set. And also the uh, card of which they have changed to a special Hollow rare for this card set. And uh, now you remember the one with Heatran in it, so let's go ahead and take a look at its alter ego, the Water Fighting Deck, Bombardment. And I'm sure you remember this part pretty well from the other theme deck. You got the damage counters and the poison burn poison burn markers. You've also got the rule book and uh, the rule book here on the front, all that good stuff. And then you got the card list on the back with the set list from Legends Awaken and several other Diamond and Pearl sets back there as well. And uh, then you also got the playing that, which is pretty much the same thing, except it's got the same thing as the other one, except it's got the bombardment uh, little logo on the front there, right in there. So anyway, it's pretty much the same mat. And then of course you have the coin, which is the same coin, except now it's silver and sort of shimmery like that. But it's also got Gliscor Mewtwo on the front, just like the other one. So that's pretty cool. And then of course. I drop the I drop the coin, and then of course you've got the deck itself, which is right here. And let's take a look a closer look at this one. Okay, so here you have Regigigas number 37 out of 146, which means that it is a regular rare card in the set. But here it's a special hollow rare, which is a reason enough I'd say to get this theme deck, or you could just buy it separately for a lot cheaper. That'd probably work too. But then you've got a bunch of fighting energies, which is the primary energy type of this set. Then you've also got a bunch of water energies, which is, I think, the secondary uh, type of the set. And then you got the trainers. And for the trainers, from Secret Wonders, you have two potions. You have, from Majestic Dawn, two energy searches. Also from Majestic Dawn, you have two Mom's Kindnesses, which allow you to draw all of two cards. From Legends Awaken itself, you have Pokey Radar, only one of those. You have Technical Machine TS1, you've got two of those. Cynthia's Kindness, also from Legends Awaken, only got one of those. And a stadium, believe it or not, Snowpoint Temple, which is pretty cool. Now for the Pokemon, <clears throat> aside from Regigigas, you have Riolu, and you got two of those. You've got Talo, which uh, I'm not sure why it's in this set, but it's uh, there, and you got four of them. Then you got Cubone, and you've got uh, four of those as well. And you've got Marowak for its evolved form, and you've got two of those. Then you've got Gligar, which uh, is a pretty cool Pokemon. And you got four of those, and also its evolved form, which is Gliscor. And you've actually got one of those, and that's actually a rare card, a rare hollow. And this is a variant version of it, so it's the non hollow version of the hollow card. Then you've got for the water type Pokemon, you've got Swinub, and you've got four of those. Then you've got Pile of Swine, and you've got two of those. And then you have Mamo Swine, which was also a hollow, ra hollow rare from this set, and this is the variant version of it. That is the non hollow version, and that is Mamo Swine. And that's all the cards for that deck. So here you have the deck laid out in its entirety, and you have over here the energies, and you have all the trainers, which I gotta say, there's not quite as many or as good trainers as there are in the Heatran deck. But, you know, I mean, it's got some different ones, like like I said, Snowpoint Temple, that's an interesting addition. Then you've got the main card, <clears throat> which really doesn't have a whole lot to do with anything, it just serves as a powerful basic Pokemon, and uh, so it's okay. It's not even the same type as the main two types, but it, it still works. Then, of course, you have your main uh, lines of Mammal Swine, the Mammal Swine, Swine line, and the Gliscor line, which is also supported by the Marowak line as well. And as with the Heatran deck, you also have these two extraneous bases, basics, which I really don't know what they're for, since they don't seem to have any attacks that do anything. So, um, really, overall, this is an okay deck, but I think the Heatran one is actually better. So that's Bombardment. Lots of heavy, powerful Pokemon, but do they really fit together? Maybe not. But that's alright, and that's up to you, and it's okay, because it's still a cool deck. And I'd say get it if you want it, get it, don't get it if you don't. It's just if you think, if you want to get all the team decks, like I do then this is a definitely a must-have. But anyways, that's my review of Bombardment. And until next time, guys, this is Pokemon Card Chronicles signing out, saying, go catch them all.